I remember it as if it was yesterday, a chilling tale that lingers in my memory, shrouded in an ominous cloak of dread. A story that arose from the murky depths of the Pacific Northwest, specifically a stretch of Highway 101, south of the quaint seaside town of Cannon Beach, Oregon. This was the stomping ground of a specter, a phantom shrouded in mystery and terror. The Bandage Man. The tale begins in the shadow-laden 1930s. The silhouette of a man, a logger by profession, stood tall against the backdrop of towering pines. He was a rugged figure, robust and full of vitality. But fate is a cruel mistress, and one day, it turned its back on him. A horrific incident at the logging site left him grievously injured, a stark contrast to his former robust self. Wrapped head to toe in bandages like an unwilling mummy, he was carted off in an ambulance, only for it to be swallowed by a landslide on the winding trail of the old Highway 101. The rescue team arrived to a scene of desolation, but the man was gone, engulfed by the cruel jaws of fate. This was his brutal, untimely end. Or was it just the beginning? Now, decades later, we feel his presence. He's not an echo of a bygone era, but an inescapable terror that lurks in the shadowy corners of our consciousness. Picture this. You're driving down the highway, a sense of unease creeping into your gut. A putrid stench, the smell of decay and rot assaults your nostrils. Your blood turns to ice as you glance in the rearview mirror, only to see the ghastly sight of a figure wrapped in bandages, eyes devoid of life yet brimming with a torment that transcends death. You can hear your heart hammering in your chest, every beat a loud drum echoing in the silence of your terror. His sudden appearances are not the limit of his reign of terror. No, there's more, whispered tales that send chills down your spine. Stories of the bandage man smashing the windows of Bill's tavern, of a dog mysteriously disappearing, devoured by a terror unseen. These stories may be uncorroborated, but they've instilled a primal fear in the hearts of the people of Cannon Beach, a fear that lingers, as pervasive as the fog that rolls in from the ocean. There's a tale I recall distinctly, a horrifying account from the 1960s. The old highway was a lover's lane back then, where young couples would park under the veil of night, oblivious to the lurking terror. One night, a couple sensed their car shake, a steady, disturbing rhythm. Panic-stricken, they turned to see a gruesome sight. The bandage man, his phantom fists slamming against the window, eyes burning with an ethereal fire. The couple fled in terror, the man fading away in their rearview mirror, his specter lost in the pallid moonlight. Ghost or zombie? A question that haunts as much as the bandage man himself. The evidence, however, leans towards the spectral. His sudden appearances and disappearances, his fixation with the area that witnessed his tragic end, and his penchant for striking fear, point to a tormented spirit, trapped in an endless cycle of despair. A ghoul, a phantom, a specter. Call him what you will, but the reality remains. The bandage man is a haunting presence, a terrifying memory, a grim reminder of a man trapped between life and death, destined to wander the same path that witnessed his tragic end, forever lost in his own personal purgatory.